bait store number one ran out of minnows. <laughs> so on to bait store number two. Seems not as many people know about this place. Strike number two, they also do not have minnows. Well, strike number four, every place I went to was out of minnows. The only thing I got is frozen minnows. And I just got an update from my dad that we don't even have a cooler right now. So it looks like we're gonna just be heading to Kelly's Island a little bit earlier today. And then try fishing tomorrow because today just did not work out for us. Well, here is the 1976 31 foot Concord cabin cruiser that we'll be using for the weekend. Bought this boat earlier this summer. I've been cleaning it up all summer so far and I have not taken it out yet and I'm very excited to do so. Thing looks super clean now. Thanks to uh, my mom. She's put a ton of time and effort into this thing, making it look super nice on the inside. And right now I just have some time to kill. So in the meantime, I'm just gonna work on some tackle and uh, wait till Hannah gets up and then we're gonna head out to Kelly's Island. Some bass fishermen just showed up, so I'm gonna go screw with them. Hey, you guys know this is a private marina? Can't fish back here? I'm just screwing with you. <laughs> How you guys doing today? <laughs> That's cool. Cool. Have a good day. <laughs> well, because we're not fishing right away, we got a little time to make us some breakfast. What what the dog doing? What the dog? Okay, breakfast is ready. Oh yeah. <laughs> Just a little something to fill in the cracks. Hold up. Keep it up. Hi. You're good. You're good. Is there any spiders on this hole? I don't know. I guess I left the door open, so we're gonna find out. Oh, Come on. Come on in. Water's fine. You're not gonna hold my hands. Welcome aboard. I have to record. If you ever want to know what a 50 year old boat sounded like when it started up. Yeah. But Ben wants to go tomorrow. It's fine. Hi. 
This is Ben's maiden voyage since he's owned it. This is my first time driving the boat as the actual owner. I don't know. Maybe. Not just practice. We're on a boat! docked it after a bunch of antics but squeezed in tight right here this is what you kind of get on a saturday when it's super sunny out i got it we're gonna walk you right in now man you should have called your skirt pull my skirt baby <laughs> thanks guys appreciate all the help it's a pretty boat thank you yeah we're going Finally all set. When we're docking makes me nervous. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look who we ran into. Hey! <laughs> Welcome to the Shih Tzu. Are you guys here for your uh, one o'clock departure? Nice. We're gonna need your tickets, please. May I board? You may. Cool. It's the shit show? What? Shih Tzu. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know you said you didn't bring any uh, fishing poles. I didn't. I if didn't. You, uh, I, I love all the DT. Uh, hey, I do have some uh, dirt baits for you, too. If you, uh, yeah, nice. Get bored and you want some fishing rods, are right down here. Okay. All right. That's the mainland back there, right behind us. And Cedar Point is just off of that way, just a little bit. Oh, uh, you have like golf carts? Not even golf carts. Oh, that's actually a really cool t-shirt. It's a real detailed wall. You have a lot of colored like shirts, like the turquoise one, so you should get this colored one. Voila! <laughs> yeah, that one. Hannah. When sea glass, when I was leaving Kelly's in the gravel, and Shad and I had a huge conversation about sea glass. And so then when they picked us up, I was like, do you have room for this in your Uber? He was so jealous. Those are actually made from real pearls too. Real what? Real pearls. So they actually, what they do is they, yeah, they shave the pearls down into circular pieces and then they connect them together. You know, like how they weld meld the metal together. Pretty too. These are pretty for the price. Yeah. Did you make them? Turn out really good. Yeah. I didn't make these ones, but I yeah, I made them before. Picking up pearls. I know. Always on camera too, right? Yeah, I record. Uh, I feel so bad that lady actually bought one of those rings. I don't know if it's because of what I told her or if she was just going to she anyway. She seemed like, you're becoming one of those famous people that are like lying to people for the views. Who knew I was going to be like Danny Duncan or yeah, something Yeah, I was like going to say, he's being snobby. <laughs> taxi! 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 Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Just so you know, we're not tipping. How about that? Are you ready? <laughs> How romantic. Yeah. Margarita on the rocks. <laughs> That's that, strong. That is so good. We're at Kai Katina right now. And this place, if you're looking for a good margarita, probably has the best margaritas on the island. And they also have tons of stuff to go look around and see while you're here. They normally have like goats, chickens, and uh, something else I can't remember right now. Oh, and ducks. That's what they also have. They have ducks. Yeah, <laughs> really, folks. 
<laughs> Shady day taxi service. <laughs> He's a G. Oh, thank you. You did. <laughs> oh, yeah, you were back in that boat? Yeah. Oh, I, I, I told Dan right away, I could just you tell. Were doing you were calm, cool, collected, and he gets a little nervous on me when he... Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Let's <laughs> <laughs> stop for the casino. Kelly's Island would turn to bar hopping. This is another next time place. Oh, wow. So that's the, the pump. The pump? Yeah. yeah. Strawberry shutties. Alright. Can we get the picture? Or... Oh. Uh, the trifecta of shots for Kelly's Island. You have to go to Peepers for the strawberry shot. You have to go to the captain's corner. Key lime pie shot. Oh yeah, that's good. And finally, the sand trap for the grilled pineapple. Yeah. Pulling up to the sand trap. This is like the main drag downtown area for Kelly's Island right here. It marinates it in the coconut Malibu rum, and then that's what the shot is: taco with a splash of fresh pineapple juice. Nice. I like to say it's an island hit of flavor. This is it. Jet Express right there. Another ferry. So I am. <laughs> Time to bring them aboard. your boat hook bud hello it's hannah ben's girlfriend we love ben's great lakes adventures right yeah. ben and he, he, oh yeah he's yeah. a lot promote him steve he really pees he's awesome with <laughs> whoa who is that are you skinhead now man are you gonna fish tomorrow or what What's up, doggies? What's up, doggy doggies? Oh, I'm ready to relax. Up here. Do we really care? Yeah. No. <laughs> Yeah, 
dirty rice cooking. Why? Pound of chorizo and a Zatarans rice packet. And just follow the instructions on the packet. Alright, Joe. Old pork tacos with pickled red onions and cheddar cheese. That's a beauty. Pasta salad, pickled red onions, pulled pork tacos, guacamole that turned brown already for some reason, coleslaw, and we got dessert back here, chips and salsa, Aww. and dirty rice. I just need a spoon and fork. Oh, yeah. You want both? Just spoon. Okay. Oh, that's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Dirty rice. Dirty rice is good. What? Spicy. Salad. Where are you going, Andrew? Oh, salad's good. Oh, taco. Okay. So, the the first 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 at this point, we're doing a Yeah. So good. That was so good. We smashed it. Look at our plates. Nice. Clean. <laughs> Yours is so clean. Good, you bud. Yeah, your pasta salad. I know. Feeling fuel fuel fueled up for tomorrow. Have a good day of fishing. Good morning. Trying this again, gonna go get some bait. <laughs> Coffee in a solo cup. <laughs> That's a redneck morning. Let's see how our minnows are doing. Oh, yeah. They're doing well. A couple, couple floaters. Ooh, fish call. Andrew, you're here. Yep. Yeah, I got pretzels. I got jerky too. You ready to get the party started? Let's do it. There's one. There's two. There's two. We're moving. It's <laughs> happening. Absolutely gorgeous day, black ball. That's the pretty side. Moved around this group of boats and marked a good pack of fish so we anchored up on them and now we're gonna drop down and see if we can start catching a few. So we're perch fishing just using spreaders with live minnows on it for bait, just like that. That's what we're after. <laughs> got one. It was about five or uh, about two inches too small to keep. Got one on. It looks like you might keep. Another yeah. about two inches too small. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Got him 
that time. All right. Minim I have minimums in my hand right now. Yeah, that's a keeper. There you go. That's our first like eight inch. All right, we got a keeper. That right there is what we were after. Did at least get like a bite. There's one. For us to get into like a, a school of them. Another. That are like five inch. Oh, that, that that's better. That this one's hopefully more than seven, seven inch. Oh wow. Makes sense. A little white perch. Smoked it. I thought it was just a slow bite. They got five keepers up at the front of the boat. Although Ron, Ron thinks that's about five inches, so we'll, we'll have to see when he comes back. <laughs> yeah. Got him. There we go. There we go. Using five foot ultralight, so if it looks like I have big fish on, that's why. He'll keep though. Probably like eight inches. And I get to keep my minnow. Let's go. That rod is actually excellent. That's what I'm talking but about. Ron doesn't know the difference with seven inches of I, know. I was just going to say, if that's what you call keepers, we've had more than that. <laughs> How many you got going in there? That's five. Two six in there. So there's eight in there. There's a clicker up there. Get him, Steve. Did you get yeah. him? Get him in the boat. Oh, shit, Ski. You're somebody now. That's a keeper. It's a good thing I got the clicker now. All right, we're... There we go. Got him. Nice. Yeah, just another little guy. Yeah. Hey, Ryan, is this a keeper? Got him? Yeah. Heck yeah. That's a keeper. That's fun. That's big. <laughs> That's about as big as the, <laughs> the last one you caught. There we go. I got one now. Oh, that's a toad. Sweet. That right there is why we're throwing back five inches. <laughs> Get him? Yeah, yeah, I got him. Got a little white perch. Get him? Yeah, he's on. Come on, pull in another slab. There we go. <laughs> that was on bottom. Hit bottom and just barely lifted it up and it just took it. But I lost him because I saw so, I'll go slow while I click. Those are very questionable. Are they alive still? That one's tiny, tiny. That one's also tiny. Keeping that one? Yeah. All right. All right, add 11 to your clicker. All right, 27 now. With 10 more in a few minutes, all right? All right, all right. There's one. Finally. My slump is over. <laughs> Look at that. Nice. Oh, yeah. Caught that. Ooh. What was that? Big. Got a good one? Yeah. That's definitely a keeper. Look at, look at where I, how I got him. Barely. Nice. Double of the day. Nice, we got a double. It's two clicks and one. Oh, buddy. That's a big bend in the rod. That's another big one. Keep a keep up. Missed that one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Whoa. A little baby walleye. Don't even hold it. Baby walleye. Oh, 
no picture. You got it. I got a video of it. There's another fish too. That's a keeper. Nice. Yeah. You follow it? Yeah. He's going in the bar. How much wild? Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Nice job. And there we go. And we'll put another one in the box right now. And another. We're doubled up back here. Uh, that's a nice one. Yeah. Mine's not going in the box. If Ron caught this back here, he'd probably put this in the box. <laughs> that's the old eyeball in there. Wanted that one. In the box. In the box. Got another Ron keeper. That boat weight is gonna suck. There we go. Yeah. Oh boy. That feels like a good one. Red. Nice. That's good. As soon as I set it down, not as big, but keeper. Keep the keeper. There we go. We actually got Ron catching a fish. You lose it? <laughs> nope, just another Ron fish. He's a keeper, right? I swallowed it earlier. Monster. All right, we got the five-minute timer rolling. And I'm gonna jump in the water. Cause it is hot. Get him? Did get you get him, buddy? Yeah, get him. You did. Yeah, you got him. Another round size keeper. I want to keep him? It's up to you. <laughs> what did I say? Ready? This is where I should have been fishing from the whole day. Holy oh, crap. her pressure. Get my line. Oh, I got one! <laughs> That's the good stuff. Thank you. Yep. Come up here for a perch lesson. Swing and a miss. <laughs> I got cocky. That's what happened. Might as well stick a line in the water for a little bit while I'm up here. Sounds coke. Oh! There we go. I got it. Oh, that was a good bite. Nice perch. Nice. Yeah. Teamwork makes the dream work. There's one. Oh, he's about to get out. Oh, step off, step off. Oh, we got him. That's it. That's a good one. Oh. Calling it. Ended with like 80 perch, though. This bucket of perch going in the cooler.
I mean, they're right in the middle of both of them. So do. That's a nice house right ahead. Got it. Good. Just a little Gotta bit get more. gas on the old girl. I was just gonna fill it up from this weekend because my dad's using the last off the way. Whatever's easier All for right, you. Take off the back as much as you can. Alright, you guys have a great day. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah, thank you. I have a rough idea. Yeah, but if someone took $20 from there, you wouldn't notice. Uh, no. <laughs> Andrew's like, just making sure. <laughs> just making sure. <laughs> so you didn't notice, alright? <laughs> <laughs> Twenty dollars could just disappear. Got it. Ron caught all the fish, actually. Ben and I caught the two biggest. How was it for fishing? Good, fun. Yeah, yeah, it was good. I mean, we caught. Did anyone fish off the front? Ron and uh, Andrew did. We had, we got eighty fish. Eighty? Yeah. You didn't tell you how many we have yet? I thought you limited out. No. We're home. We're home! Well, the boat's all clean, all packed up, ready to go for the next trip. Here. And then kind of following suit for the rest of this uh, weekend. Took the perch to five different perch cleaning houses and they're not taking perch anymore. The rest of the day, they're that slammed. So, we're gonna have to do it ourselves. Ow, oh, mother. This boat is not built for six foot people. I've hit my head on this and I've hit my head on that sliding glass door countless times. Nice. Hey, hey, hey. Fishman, fishman, right. fishman. I'm gonna go swimming. I wanna go to the pool. Time to head home. Fine. I don't care, I gotta pee. Alright, you go pee. Oh man. Uh, gotta drop the fish off at the fish clean place before we uh, head home. Let's get these fish. There's no bathroom no more. <laughs> Fish dropped off. Oh, and I drove my truck here. Oh, thank goodness my baby made it. Oh, I look like a homeless man anyway. Waiting for her to come pick me up and get all my stuff in there. Seats all the way forward. Just how I expected it. <laughs> Finally made it back home and we dropped the fish off at the fish cleaning house and we're not gonna be able to pick it up till tomorrow. So I think we're gonna make some plans to uh, have it for dinner tomorrow at my uncle's house. So I will see you tomorrow. So I just picked up the fish from the fish cleaning house and you can see all the water is all cloudy like that. I'm just gonna dump them out in a bowl and rinse them out real quick before I pack them up again and put them in the freezer. Yeah, you can really see there how discolored that water is. That's pretty gross. Now there's no certain amount of times I rinse them off for, I just keep rinsing them until the water runs clear. Now I don't normally take my fish to get clean, but I also don't have the willpower to scale almost 100 fish. And we like the skin on our perch, and the fish clean house has a machine that will 
scale them in probably like five minutes. So that's what we do. Now you can see how nice and clean that water is, that perch is sitting in for the freezer. And there is all of our perch. Well, some time has passed and getting together to have a fish fry it kind of fell through, but I didn't want to just end the video there. I wanted to do a little bit of a perch recipe. So what I got here is some perch and walleye cheeks. This is not the perch that we caught in this video. This is actually from another video I made uh, last spring. If you want to check that out, I'll leave a link in the description. And I like to do this recipe whenever I got little chunks of fish or little tiny pieces of perch or something that aren't gonna fry up in like nice pieces when you beer batter them and stuff like that. It's basically gonna be a hush puppy fish cake type thing. Perch pieces I cut up about this size and then the walleye cheeks, they're actually just perfect the way they are. Now I couldn't find a hush puppy mix so I'm gonna try it with this cornbread mix. Half a yellow onion and then all the fish. Garlic powder for good measure, just because I love garlic powder. And then just because I have some, some Chipotle Danos. And then this is just food for thought. What I think would be pretty good with this recipe is uh, doing a little bit of water and milk to mix it up and a beer I think would be pretty good too. But I don't have any beer right now, so I'm just gonna use milk. So a problem I ran into is the cornbread mix is a lot thinner, it doesn't stick together quite like I thought it would, but no problem. I just added some flour to thicken it up so it can actually turn into some balls or cakes. Okay, so now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take two spoons, oh, that's really hot, oil. Quick cooking tip, if your oil gets too hot, just add more, cool it off. As I was saying. You just take two spoons, clump some of it together, let the excess drip off just a smidge there, and then just drop it on in. It should all just stick together. Now I'm normally pretty big on if you're going to be cooking something or frying something in oil, getting that thing as hot as you can get it. That way it doesn't, one, if you have it at like 375 and you drop something cold in, it's going to drop it down to like 300. And then it's not going to fry up and be as crispy as you want it to. But with this, you really need it to cook all the way through because of all, you know, if the piece of fish is in the center and you have it super hot and it gets super golden brown and crispy on the outside, and you don't let it cook all the way through, then you're going to be eating raw fish. So this, I you know, probably have my oil a little bit lower than I normally have it. That way it has time to cook all the way through and then still get that golden brown. Cutting these bad boys open, you can see that they're cooked all the way through. I think I cooked them for probably about five to seven minutes to get them cooked all the way through. The cornbread mix, it uh, it didn't have those crispy edges like I thought it was going to, but it still feels like it's gonna be pretty crisp anyway. So first I'm gonna try it with the classic way you're supposed to put honey over top of it. I was kind of knocking it all the way up until now, but that tastes better than if I would have used Hush Puppy Mix like normal. Wow, that is really good. But the honey, making it a little sweet. I'm also gonna try it with ketchup, sriracha, and some of this maypoi sauce, but wow, that is really good. So that's gonna be it for this video. I know it's a long one if you made it all the way to the end. Thank you very much. Um, other than that, I'll see you on the next one.